Hello and welcome to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 1st of September and this time I bring you something a little bit interesting as we've had some interesting comments from a member of Volition. In fact, the studio creative director, Steve Jaros, has, he has actually admitted his failures in, or their failures, should I say, in portraying women and is actually calling for a change in the industry on how women are portrayed in video games. Now, basically, he said that he believes that in Alita Sarkeesian's latest feminist frequencies, um, tropes versus women in video games, he was she was right, sorry, to actually include Saints Row in that particular episode and went so far as to say that the games industry should work on the portrayal of women. And he went on to say, quote, yes, this is something we should all be better at. Yes, the original Saints Row is listed here. Yes, it should be. I think we shouldn't be portraying senseless, abused women, and I think that if I could go back and hop in a time machine, I would have done things differently. I think it's fair to be called out on your shit. I think that it's a sad man that can never be self-reflective. I think that we try to go and carry ourselves with respect, and try to respect sexuality and respect gender as much as we can, and sometimes we fail, but hopefully we'll do better and continue to get better. And he also then added that the Volition team is now mindful of objectifying women in their future Saints Row titles. So, there you have it. Interesting comments indeed. Now, as I said in my last video that I did on her and the death threats she received, I'm not personally a fan of any Sarkeesian or her video game series, and a lot of people aren't. She is obviously is not particularly well liked by most people, which is fine. And whether or not you agree with her and what she says, it's still the right attitude from Volition. That's what I want to focus on here. Let's forget who said this for the moment. Let's ignore that because it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter who said it. Someone said, hey, maybe, you know, you don't want to do this. And they thought about it and they were like, hey, maybe you're right. And that's a good thing. It's a positive attitude to have to look back on what you've done. And instead of blindly defending it, you actually sit and think and go, well, do they have a point? And they apparently believe, yes, she did. Which is the right attitude to have, to be honest. Instead of making a load of excuses like Ubisoft going, oh, women are too hard to render or whatever bollocks they were spouting at the time. They actually sat and thought and came up with the conclusion that, yes, they perhaps should have gone done things a little bit differently. And obviously, Saints Row is a game that's very silly. Very, very silly. Silly doesn't really seem like a strong enough word for it, but it's the best one I've got at the moment. So, obviously, everything in that game is turned up to 11. So, you'd kind of expect, you know, the huge boobs and the scanty look of women and everything, especially in a game where you can actually use a giant dildo as a weapon. So they probably shouldn't beat themselves up too much, but it's still a positive attitude. And obviously, he's not the only one to hold it by any stretch of the imagination, but it still pleases me when this starts making its way into the AAA, because, well, I personally do think that we have a long way to go before we are properly getting the best female characters we can. Just to give you a brief example, um, for a while I've wanted to do a video on what makes a good female video game character. You know, just examine what makes a good, what makes a bad, and all that. Because we always bang on about bad female characters, but I want to show no. There are some good examples, let's look at what makes them good. And I wouldn't limit myself to the like last five years, shall we say. And it's surprisingly hard going to find enough good ones. There are a few, and to be honest, I've not really started the research in earnest. So, But when I've done my male characters once, way back in the day, right near the start of the channel, um, I didn't really need to do any research, to be honest. I could immediately think of five or however many a uh, few good characters off the top of my head what made them good thought a little bit about them maybe a little bit of research to make sure i got my points right and that was it i didn't need to look around for good characters and the fact that i'm gonna have to do that for the women one yeah that kind of says something and obviously it is harder to write the opposite gender in film in books in games in a fucking zoe trope doesn't matter it is harder to write the opposite gender and obviously, the gaming industry is pretty male-dominated, of course. Of course, there are more women now than there ever were, which is great, but it's still pretty heavily shifted towards men. So obviously, they're still finding their feet with writing women. And that's fine. It does take a while. It is difficult to write the uh, opposite gender. I have myself, as a writer, I've come across that problem. So, But still, it's attitudes like this that will pave the way so for and all that rubbish. So... 
thumbs up from me. This is a good attitude from Volisha, whether or not you agree um, with Anita, it doesn't matter. Like I said, who said it doesn't matter. It's Volisha that deserved the thumbs up here. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.